Hey everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese and I'm here to do a whip and chat for mine and Mindy's DP April Showers event. <clears throat> we have been working on this through the month of April. Can you believe that April is almost coming to a close? And this is how much I have done on my painting now much more than last week I do plan on getting this finished for April I just love it the colors are really blooming look at the difference between the part that's not done and the part that is done really gorgeous colors this is one from Treasure Studios Art I have been enjoying working on it this is a square this is a 40 by 50 <clears throat> I think it's gorgeous. They no longer have this diamond painting on their side. I wish they did. I think it's gorgeous. But, you know, you never know when something's going to be there and when it's going to be gone. I purchased this last year. So, I think it's beautiful. So, I'm going to... I'm using this tray from my 3D Designs. I'll put a link to it. This is one of the prizes that's going to be in the giveaway today. Yes, this is another giveaway from me. And watch until the end and you'll see what's in the um, giveaway. And you will also see and hear what you need to do in order to enter the giveaway. It's going to be, it's very easy. You just need to watch and listen to what I have to say about it. Sometimes I have people ask me, and this is kind of, <laughs> kind of gets a little old when somebody asks, how do you enter the giveaway? Well, you know, if you watch the video, you're going to hear how to enter. So, you need to also be subscribed to my channel because that's what I like to give it my giveaways for people who are subscribed to my channel. Last week, Pearl won Diamond Painting with Pearl won, and her package will be in the mail today. It took me a little time. I have not actually been out of the house for the last, gosh, it's been maybe three weeks. My back was bothering me so much, it was hard to, for me to even get in the car to, to drive to go to the post office. But it is so much better. And I'm also going to be going to the high school to help the ESL teacher. I'm going to be grading papers, or rating papers. And I've talked about this before in a whip and chat. And I'm finally going to be going tomorrow to get it done. I'll get it started. We'll see how many I get done. I think I have at least 350 papers that I'll need to rate. So we'll see how hard they are to, to read and how long it'll take. I'm hoping it doesn't take a real long time because I need to get back to this. Right? You know, I taught for 34 years and now I'm, I don't mind helping my friend out. So, I hope you're having a glorious day. Today has been a good one. It is crazy weather time in Texas. We, um, we've we had really warm weather up in the 80s, you know, 70s and 80s. Now we're going to be, I think, in the 60s maybe a couple of days, down in the 40s at night. It's just crazy. You never know from one day to the next what's going to happen. So, that is, um, it's always a guessing game. What should I wear today? Better check and see what the temperature is. Because even if you watch the weather forecast, it could be completely different the next day. And I know a lot of you probably are going through that during this springtime. 
I have actually found that I enjoy using this tray because I can put three colors out at once and can just, when I see a color that goes with one of these in the tray, I can just go ahead and do it. What I do is, these are in baggies and I have the symbols on there. All I do is look and think, okay, if I see an X, I, I'm going to do the ones in the middle. I have them in the same order as I do my drills, so I can find it real easy. Got to make this easy on ourselves. We want to make it fun. All right, so let me continue. I, I, everyone does this. Sometimes you'll be diamond painting along and you think, oh my gosh, I'm putting the wrong colors in the wrong place. You have to sometimes think about it before you, when you first get started. If you haven't been diamond painting, even if it's for, you know, an hour and you go back to it, you got to stop and think, okay, what color was I on again? What symbol am I using? It's kind of, it's just part of it. You get your mind going on something else, but once you get started, it is so relaxing. I am, oh, I'm using my Pentastic Painter's Pen. This is my Cardinal. Of course, I need to do one with my little bird. I don't know that you can see it very good in this. But I've sh I showed them before. And I am finding these pens to be quite comfortable. I see an X right there. So I'm just going to dip over here and do it. There's a few X's here. So, you can just, as you see them, you can put them down. And, as you know, if you notice, I did put a my Everlasting Tip in this. It fits perfectly in these pens. And that's what I like to use. And I use my glue dots. My micro glue dots. Those fit in here so nicely, so easy to use. And I have not, ch you very seldom have to change. I mean, you can go a few days. I go, can go a few days. I may have to add a glue dot, but I don't have to change it out. Uh, but you can go for hours before you have to add any. I don't think I've added any in the last couple of days. So that's pretty good. Let me think about what's been going on. Oh, I know some of you watched my live with Isaac. He was, <laughs> he was kind of shy in it, but you know what? He really enjoyed it. He's been really busy. I have not seen him since we did that video. And he'll be leaving pretty soon. So I'm hoping I'll get to see him for maybe just a few minutes before he takes off. You know how it is when you're in the service, they, um, you do what they tell you. You don't, you don't get to pick and choose what you want to do. I really enjoyed, um, I really have been enjoying reading the comments I've been getting from you guys. Um, I'm behind on comments again. I was... Today was kind of busy. I actually got a few things done around the house that I really need to do. You know how that goes. <laughs> um, some some things I just like to just keep pushing to the side. <laughs> and, you know, house cleaning is not at the top of my favorite things to do in this world. I don't know about the rest of you. I just realized something. You might have been able to see this blue bird, I mean this red bird, but I forgot I had my, um, oh, it might help if I turn it right side up, huh? I had my reading glasses on, on top, over my glasses, so, well, I can't really tell. You can see now, but it is, it is really cute. And I've got, I, I'm really enjoying these pens. I forgot I had these. I have actually had to, even though I have progressive lenses in my glasses, 
I really need to go and get some new glasses. Gosh. It only costs a fortune when you go. <laughs> Let me put this down. Maybe you can see what I'm doing a little better. Maybe. We'll see. Of course, you're probably working on whatever it is you have to work on while I'm doing this. And that's what I want you to do. I, I, I get off on something else and then I forget what I was talking about. Oh my gosh. I get. Do you ever do that? You be thinking about something and then something else crosses your mind and you just got to say it. And then you forgot what you were talking about before. I know I can't be the only person in the world that does that. It's kind of crazy. But, you know, it's just the way things are, I suppose. We got so many things on our mind and... So much um, going on in, in our lives. I have enjoyed working on this a lot. Um, anyway, last week I had you tell me what you were working on. I really enjoyed reading about that. And I have enjoyed looking at the pictures on Instagram. There are really some beautiful diamond paintings out there. That you guys are working on. There's some more X's over here. So I will go ahead and do those. That's one thing I like about this. We'll try. I can jump from one color to another. Just have to remember which. At least it's just three. I can handle doing three. They had one of these with six. Three on one side, three on the other. I'm like, mm -mm, no. That's... That's going to be too much. I mean, you could label them, but I like doing it this way. That way the tray's not too big for me to handle. This is just the right size for this. I have other trays that I enjoy using. It's fun sometimes to mix them up. Mix them up got different diamond painting pens. How many of you have different trays and different pens that you use? I, I know I'm not the only one who switches their things around. You just got to try new things out. It's kind of fun. That's why I thought, you know, for part of this giveaway, I will send out a, a, a different kind of tray, maybe that you guys haven't tried. I had not seen this one. I just happened upon it and thought oh that's kind of interesting you know it's got a stopper for each thing and it is very easy i don't even have to put the lid on to pour them out because they go down into this area down here so that's been kind of neat i'm gonna usually when i'm diamond painting i'm I'm quiet and I was just about to get to that mode of just sitting here and not thinking about anything and just diamond painting but you don't want to just have me doing that I know you want to hear me tell some stories I'm trying, I've been trying to think of what stories to tell there's you know in life you have so many different things that happen to you some things funny some things sad and I don't share a whole lot of sad things. I don't know that you want to hear sad stories. I mean, if you want to, I can tell, I can tell you some. Because um, we all have some things that happen in our life that are not just, you know, peachy keen, wonderful, beautiful. You know what I want to do? I want to work on the, the bird's belly. I don't want to see this bird coming alive even more. So let me, I'm going to scoot it on over. Okay, see how I do this? I go this way, and then I have them go back this way. And this works good like that. Lines them up pretty good. So, whoops. I'm kind of excited and kind of not going up to the school to, to grade papers. 
you know, they're going to put me in a room by myself. I was telling my sister, I'm going to be in a room by myself grading papers so that I won't have to sit there with a mask on all the time. I said, it's going to be kind of like sitting in a solitary confinement <laughs> in prison. She said, well, <laughs> at least it's not. It's really solitary confinement. So, I'll get through it. Uh, I just hope the handwriting isn't too hard to read. I haven't haven't had to read kids' papers in a while, but I don't think that ever goes away. I have had kids that have written papers, and there's no way that you can read it. I'll hand it back to the student. I said, could you please read this to me? They can't even read it themselves. I'm like, okay, listen. If you can't read it, what made you think that I was going to be able to read it? I don't know. <laughs> You're a teacher. Yeah, that doesn't mean I can read just anything, you know. You could write it in hieroglyphics. It'd be better than what you got there. Could understand it a little bit more. So, I just tell them, take your time on your writing. I know you want to get finished, but you know, somebody's got to read that. Usually I can figure it out, but there are times that I've had some that were impossible. I remember, oh gosh, this was back when probably my maybe second year of teaching. My first year of teaching, I taught third grade in, in the Houston area in a, a district called Alding. And that was that that was a whole tale in itself. <laughs> Tell you. Woo! Then I moved back to um, my little town I'm in because my uh, Jerry and I were planning on getting married. So I moved here and got a job. I'd wanted to get a job teaching third grade. Well they didn't have any openings for third grade. So I decided, okay, well, let me see what I can get. And I, had, I got a job teaching junior high. That's how that all came out. My first time teaching junior high. I remember, um, and I was teaching 7th and 8th grade. One of my kids didn't have his homework the next day. And I asked him, I said, well, where's your homework, you know? And he said, well, I couldn't do it because electricity went off. And so I watched TV instead. Well, you know, back in that day, in those days, uh, there was no such thing as, you know, cell phones and things like that where you could watch your TV. No, it was the, you, ha you, you have electricity or you have no TV. So he's telling me he didn't have electricity, so he watched TV instead. And I'm like, really? How did you do that? don't even remember the answer. It's been such a long time ago. But kids are liable to tell you anything. <laughs> they think that you're, and you know, sometimes they think that, you know, we are going to fall for that. Yeah, but that was an impossibility for him to have, you know, <laughs> he couldn't see, so he watched TV instead. <laughs> really? How'd you get that electricity for the TV? Kids are funny. <laughs> you might as well laugh. Or you'll be doing a lot of crying. Those of you who have children of your own, you know. There are times that it is so frustrating. But I, um, oh gosh, I've had some crazy things <laughs> happen throughout the years. Uh, when I was, this was again, like my second or third year teaching, and I was at, still at the teaching at the junior high, and I mean, I was smaller than those kids, most of the kids, um, five foot two and three quarters, almost five foot three, okay, we'll say five three, we're going to round it up, um, most of those kids are bigger than me, and I was tiny back then, I was a little bitty thing. And I could walk down the hallways, and the kids thought I was just 
one of the other kids because I blended right in them in there with them. You know, I was in my early 20s, so they didn't pay any attention. <laughs> um, so I would hear a lot of things that went on in the hallways that, you know, weren't supposed to, they didn't expect me to hear. Um, I forgot where I was going with this. Um, goodness. Oh, I remember now. I was, a lot of times I would sit on top of one of the desks that wasn't being used and talk to the kids. And I'll never forget, one of the girls in the class got up and came and whispered in my ear, Miss Babcock, you've got a rip in your pants in the crotch. <laughs> Okay, uh, I said thank you, <laughs> and so I just stood up. I don't, I don't even, I didn't react in any way. Let me tell you something: when you're teaching school, don't react, don't make any reaction. I just got up and just started walking around instead. I thanked her later. I mean, she could have hollered that across the room. There are kids who will do that, so I'm guessing no one else even noticed. And. To say the least, uh, I did not sit down like that again. <laughs> and then when I got home, I, you know, sewed up the problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> of all things, that can happen. Yeah, it, and it does. You don't think these things are going to happen to you, but yet they do. But I was very grateful she didn't just holler out. Hey, Miss Babcock, there's a rip in the crotch of your pants. Oh boy, would that have been embarrassing. I'm glad it was a girl who <laughs> noticed it and not a boy. So, I will never, I mean, there are some things you just never forget. And that's one of them. I remember I was so embarrassed, but I might have turned red. I don't know. I just tried to play it cool. And that's what I always tried to do when I was teaching. Just play it cool and don't let them see you sweat. That's the main thing. And, um, you know, show them respect. That, that's a big one. Because if I hadn't been respectful to her, she, you know, might not have thought she needed to be respectful to me and come and say it in my ear like she did. But, kids are... Kids are good, for the most part. You know, we talk about how bad they are. But, for the most part, they're really good. Okay. Let's see, I've been, okay, 25 minutes. I wasn't sure. I couldn't find the time. I'm like, oh my gosh, did I forget to turn it on? I've done that before. Be talking and forget to have turned the um, webcam on. Hey, that's a real treat. <laughs> you just be talking away and you look up and you never turned it on. That is, at least, you know, I'm sitting in here just talking to myself. <laughs> Nobody can see me doing this. But, yeah, things like that happen. And I think most YouTubers will tell you they've done things like that before. You just forget to turn it on. You're so, you know, intent on getting started and doing whatever it is you are wanting to do. Oh, come on. Get off of there. We've... <laughs> oh, my gosh. We've... Uh, I'll never forget another thing that happened. And this is not for... This is not for young ears to hear, but this happened at school, teaching junior high, back when I was in my 20s, because people say how bad kids are gotten, their kids are kids, okay? I'll never forget. Um, one of the kids, only God knows who, put a condom on the water faucet and, you know, filled it up and it was just hanging off of there so that was real real special to see um, 
So you just, you know, just you just take care of those things and go on. <laughs> you don't want to make a big deal about it. But uh, another thing that they would do is they would get maxi pads that had the stickers on them and they use marker or ink whatever make them red and they just stick them onto the outside of the lockers you be walking along there's one sticking out there and you're like oh for god's sakes of course it's better than it having have been the real thing that would be a whole lot worse so yeah these things have happened for years on end I remember my daddy telling me a story when he was in school. They were just a poor farming family, and my daddy would take, um, sometimes for his lunch, it might just be a biscuit with um, sour gum syrup on it. That was what he had for lunch. Well, this boy jumped right into the middle of his lunch that he had. You know, he didn't have much, and he, you know, he was hungry. So, he said that the next day, he took a pocket knife with him to school. And that the teacher was standing out there. And so, my daddy was, uh, he was really mad about what the other boy had done. And he said that this pocket knife, he said, he said it was so dull it couldn't have even cut butter. But <laughs> he got up and they were running round and round the teacher. And she's trying to holler at him and tell him to stop. Melvin! Melvin, stop that! <laughs> and, uh, uh, he, uh, she got him stopped, but, yeah, my, my daddy was mad. You know, who wouldn't be? Someone, someone jump right off in the middle of your, of your meal like that when you don't, you know, you, that's all you got to eat. But, that, those are things that happen year after year <coughs> with um, kids in school just are going to do their thing. Okay, let's look at checking to see. Ooh, that is pretty. Yeah, I like that. Let's do his little face now. I'm sure you have had stories, things happen in your school days that I never got into any fights at school I was I was pretty small um, of course my daddy was very really thin but I tell you what when you made a man I think he was pretty little when he was young but that wasn't gonna stop him from I guess he's gonna take his pound of flesh I don't know um, I remember, <laughs> here's another thing I remember, when I first started teaching, actually, I was student, this was student, in my student teaching period of time, and we were going to show a film, well, back then, they were on those reel-to-reel -reel films, okay, that's a long time ago, okay, and, you know, I had two reels, you know, they go round and round and round. And I remember I was, got the film threaded. I mean, you ha you took courses on how to learn how to do the threading of the film projectors and all that. Anyway, I was getting the film projector <laughs> ready to show the kids some kind of film. I think it was something for science. I don't remember. And I don't know what was wrong with the projector, but I got a shock. And I don't remember if I said um, shit out loud or not, but I'm going to tell you, it hurt. I'm going to jump back. Um, I, was, I did my student teaching with fourth grade. And let me tell you, that was an experience. Uh, that hurt. It really hurt. I loved my student teaching, though. I, my... The one I did my student teaching with was my brother Daryl's first wife. They met each other, and I didn't even know they were dating. They never told me. And I found out later, and the next thing I knew, they were getting married. And unfortunately, it didn't 
but it didn't last. They had three kids, and um, I was really sad, but you know, those things happen. But Melissa and I, we are still very good friends, and we had the best time. I have to tell you some more stories of my student teaching time, because it was fun. We had so much fun. When I get around somebody else, I just like to have fun. That's, you know, life's too short to make it <laughs> boring. And so, I had a lot of fun. Okay. I got most of the bird down. There's just a little bit left to do on it. It's so pretty. So, what I'm going to do now is show you the things that are in the giveaway. Let me... I got my cover minder here from Saban, cover minder Saban. I'll put a link to her shop down below. She makes beautiful cover minders. They are gorgeous. And it's, this one is perfect for this picture with the flowers. Okay, let me turn this light off. Oh, what one? Okay, I turned it off and then I turned it back on. All right, let's see. We're going to do this. I'm just going to turn this over so I have a white background to show you. And let's go up a little bit. Okay. First of all, you're going to get to choose one of these cover minders. Pearl picked the fairy that I had on here before. And that's in the mail going to her. And these are what are the ones that are left. Now, I had so many people tell me which different ones that they liked. So, you will get to choose whichever one you like. I will do the drawing next Wednesday. Okay, so next Wednesday, you'll, I'll do another whipping chat, and I'm going to draw the winner. So, we've got a dragonfly. We have this beautiful butterfly. They're all gorgeous. This cup of coffee. You can see the little spoon. It is so cute. And this beautiful basket of flowers. And then this tree of life. They're all gorgeous. Um, this tiger with a cub. Not sure how well that's showing up. It's, it kind of has a glow to it. And then this dragonfly. So. You will get to choose which one of these cover minders you like the best and would like to have. And the other things that will be in the package will be, I'm basically doing the same thing like I did last time because I think everyone liked the prize package I had. It's going to be this um, thing. This can go in a binder. And inside, I went ahead and put... This right here can hold wax, or it could hold like aspirins or something that you wanted to take with you, but just throw it in your purse, whatever you want to use it for. And then I have this, it's like the one I have, it's got a little silicone ball on the end, and this, I use this to wipe my drills out of my tray when I'm emptying it. But this silicone ball will pick up drills. You might want to super glue it in there because it will come out. Okay. I also mentioned the um, this tray. Couldn't think of the word. And of course the stoppers. It's got a number two on the top, so you know that that is the one that that's the direction it goes in. As you can see on mine, all of these number twos are at the top facing upwards and it's got this cover and this cover is really nice you move, can move it around I have yarn and dog hairs and everything else on me um, so it, it 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 seals it up nicely so have this and then I have these two little baggies filled with candy and also this crystal, this is a crystal, it's a leaded crystal, and this one is blue. Let me take it out. It's got some weight to it. And this one says Serenity. It's a beautiful piece, and it's nice size. 
I said it has good weight to it. And then there are candies. There are Werther's candies. And then there are candies that have uh, a honey type filling inside. And then this package has chocolates. And this one has a clear crystal, leaded crystal. And it says happiness. I think you can see that through there pretty good. It's just like the blue one, except it's clear. It's They're gorgeous. And then you've got some chocolates in here. Ghirardelli and Kit Kats. So these are what is going to be in this giveaway. And if I want to throw something else in there, I will. So you'll choose which cover minder you like. And it'll go in with this package. Put this over here out of the way. Now, this is what you need to do to enter. I want you to... <sighs> I've thought of several different things. It's just, just something easy that I want you to do. Is I want you to tell me what... Um, what is your favorite diamond painting pen that you own? And if you just use pink pens, just put, I just use the pink pens. Um, if you have a wooden pen, and, and maybe tell us where you purchase it from. For example, I might say, I like my polymer clay pen from Pentastic Painters. Um, or I might tell you, I like my wooden pen from Following the Grain on Etsy. I've got <laughs> oh, I was okay. I'm way over here. I like my um, acrylic pen that I purchased from um, Bella's Diamond Painting Pens. And I have several of her pens I got way before she became real uh, popular. So I, I was able to get some pens, and uh, I still remember when I showed her pens, everyone went crazy over them. But she has a, an Etsy and a Facebook. She does, oh, I think, um, Wednesday nights, she goes live on her Facebook page. And then I have these. These are also polymer clay pens. This is from um, Pizzazzed Pens. Anyway, I'll put links to these different places. Um, this is very reasonably priced. I really like this, and it feels good in the hand. Some of these are more expensive. So, I get different pens, you know, with different price ranges. Just kind of like what we do. So, just tell me, what is your favorite diamond painting pen? Or, or you can tell me two. <laughs> or... or um, you, you can tell us where you like to purchase your diamond painting pens. And again, if you don't purchase them from anywhere, just, just tell me. But that will let people see other places that you can purchase them. And I always put an everlasting tip in my pens <laughs> when I get them. Because it, ju it just makes it easier for me to diamond paint. Um, anyway, that's all you need to do. Tell me. Your favorite diamond painting pen? Tell me if it's wood, acrylic, polymer clay. You can tell me the color. Tell me where it came from. Okay? Pretty easy. And if you just use the pink pens, or, or you've never, you know, you might be brand new, or you've just... I have a reason for asking these types of questions. Because when I do giveaways, I do give other things away. So when you see me showing lots of trays and pens and things... You may be seeing those in giveaways in the future. So, that's one reason I ask. So, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay? Tell me your favorite diamond painting pen. Well, you got it. That's it. Real easy. Okay. And I will be choosing that the winner next Wednesday. Mindy will be choosing her winner today. So, uh, you'll need to go check her channel. And make sure you watch what Mindy's got going on. She's got some interesting stories to tell. And she was a teacher also. 
and newly retired. I've been retired a little longer. Um, I started teaching at an earlier age than she did, so I was able to retire a little earlier. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you're having a blessed day, whatever it might be. Take care. I love you guys. Bye. Come on, turn off. Okay, well, I may not be going.